joining us Congressman Pete Sessions from House Financial Services, along with Congressman Brian Mast from House Transportation and Infrastructure. Congressman Sessions, your reaction to what you just heard, Americans more and more are asking who's in charge? Well, who's in charge are the Democrats, and who's in charge of the Democrats is actually a philosophy, a philosophy much like Jimmy Carter, but more akin to socialism moving further left. They are all socialist-based. They're trying to up each other, whether you're in California or New York. Everybody wants to one-up each other on how far left they can take their policy. So the policies that we have, exactly like the model of Jimmy Carter that started, high inflation, uh, a poor uh, understanding of of uh, affairs, of international, yeah. un not understanding our military, and misusing America's good name. You know, to the congressman's point, you know, Congressman Mast, the P Americans are seeing the footage coming in, right? And again and again, they're saying, who's in charge? Let's listen to this leaked footage from August 2021. Federal contractors at an airport in Westchester where illegals are being flown in. Watch this. Uh, I used to pick up basketball teams that had more security. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. You know, and very easily, you know, a few people could just go that way. <laughs> so um, I'm here to see where they're coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's slowly coming together. But we also don't know, uh, you know, really what's what's happening, how they're getting here, whatever else. I get the whole secrecy and all this shit, but this is even about my yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And why? You know why? You know why? Yeah, I know, but why? Why? Yeah. No, but uh, what's what's the big secret? Everybody knows it's happening. You know why? Because it gets out. The government's betraying the American people. Do you hear that, Congressman Mass? The government is betraying the American people. If this is all okay, right? If this is about transparency, why these secret flights in the dead of night? Americans increasingly ask, who's in charge? What's going on here? Your reaction? Because it's not okay. That's why they're saying it. We can't give Joe Biden a pass to say the question, who is in charge? He is in charge. He's the chief executive officer of the United States of America of every federal agency to include Customs and Border Patrol and every other agency out there. The buck is supposed to stop with him. He says it does. We know, in fact, he shifts the blame off every time he can. But let's tie this one back to supply chain real quick, right? CBP, we know there's not nearly enough CBP workers in the ports and other places where there are those log jams and all those goods coming in from overseas need to be checked out. How about we take those CBP officers and instead of them moving people around the country illegally, they go to work in the ports to help so to help solve the supply chain crisis. Interesting. That would be a solution. That's that sounds like something Republicans are going to try to push for Congress in sessions. If you guys come back into control of Congress, you know, I want to move on to this because this is a, a, a terrible story coming out of Houston. Three more cops shot in a gunfight. Uh, we're hearing got information coming into the studio that the suspect who is on the run, he had a full on automatic weapon. Uh, immigration officials confirming the man accused of shooting to death the deputy constable uh, in Harris County, outside Houston, in Houston, he was an illegal immigrant. We've got former President Trump. He's going to a rally outside Houston uh, this weekend. Uh, he, the questions are growing. Is he going to run? Let's listen to former President Trump. Watch this. First on T. 45th president of the United States. 45th and 47th. 47th. Yes. yes. I love that. I love that. Mr. <laughs> 45th and 47th. Your reaction? Well, the reaction is really quite natural, and that is uh, that Mr. Trump is doing a lot of things right now to counterbalance not just what Mr. Biden is saying, but speaking about things that were previously handled and handled well. The bottom line is this next that this year we're going to win back the House of Representatives and I think when the Senate winning back Congress will hold the president accountable we will ask the questions we will get the answers that we need but this president and 
the House and the Senate, Speaker Pelosi, are trying to move this country as far left as they can, even knowing the American people disagree with them. Yeah, and, you know, Congressman Mast, if you question them on that, you're called a racist, right? Or you're called a white supremacist. You know, Americans more and more are seeing what's going on with crime in U.S. cities, right? We've got 22 cities, 44 percent rise in homicides since two, uh, 2019. New York City, cops visibly stricken with grief on camera at a vigil and a week for two cops shot dead, Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora. The president is going to meet with the New York Democrat mayor uh, in next week. We've got new data coming in. Four out of ten criminals freed without bail under the Democrats' bail reform were rearrested committing more crimes, nearly one out of four were rearrested on dangerous felony charges. Your response to that? Yeah, these are the progressive windsock policies that Joe Biden is following. Let's defund the police. Let's bring an end to bail. Let's go out there and say anytime that a law enforcement officer responds to an issue, the number one thing that we're going to jump to is, was that a racist action instead of, was somebody committing a crime and was the officer doing what he was hired by the city, by the municipality, whatever to do, go out there and protect the people that aren't breaking the law. Thank you, Congressman Pete Sessions and Congressman Mass. It's good to have you both on.